How do you share your workshop with a friend across the country? Not totally a woodworking discussion today, but one that I think you will want to stay tuned for because through what I'm going to tell you about, you can indeed share your workshop with somebody who's across the country, whether that be friends or family. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. My YouTube channel, my website, a lot of my social media is all about the design of a one car garage workshop and how to make that work for yourself as a weekend woodworker. I mean, how wonderful would it be if you could actually take not just the old panning 360 degree view and then it all looks really weird but an actual picture that is three-dimensional and then you're able to share that with a friend and have them on their phone look at all aspects of your bubble what if I could stand right here and do a complete uh, view of my workshop and then share that with somebody wouldn't that be cool well you can there's an app, it, it was free so far, as far as I can know, I can't see any downsides to it. Hopefully it's not run by the Russians or something and not just trying to collect your uh, email address. But there's an app that I downloaded to my iPhone and my iPad called B-U-B-B-L-I, kind of like bubbly, and it has to do with shooting a bubble. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you the process of my shooting a bubble and then I'm going to share that with you in a link. You can go to that link and you can look around my workshop. But when you get done with that, think about it. You could go out into your backyard and you could shoot a 360 of your view or of your backyard or of your house and you could let somebody, friends or family across the country actually see a panorama going all the way around. It is so cool because you can use your fingers on the phone to go all the way around. You can also move the phone around and look at different things. Look up, look down. Enough of an intro. Let me go ahead and shoot a video. Hey, let me go ahead and shoot a bubble of my workshop and then I'll share that with you. I'm going to hit the record button here and then the first thing I'm going to do is turn my hands up and down. Then I'm going to hold this in the center and I'm going to walk around it and it'll tell me when I need to slow down or something. I've only got a certain amount of time so I want to get this preset out of the way. Then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to start uh, filming. So I'm going to go down get my pop-up workbench in there, my samurai carpenter workbench, go all the way up, pan down. So I, I went around and I kind of as if I was painting a bubble. I'm gonna paint the inside of a bubble. So do me a favor, put that on your phone. Go over to Facebook to Small Workshop Woodworking Community and join if you haven't already. And then take a bubble and share it with the rest of us so we can see what your workshop looks like. That'll probably force you to clean it up, which is a good thing. Small Workshop Guy, Hoping you'll stay safe in your bubble, I mean in your workshop, signing off.